Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Recently, we had the opportunity to go out to Critical Mass Media and talk with Maggie Roswell. Now, in case you don't recognize that name, I know you'd recognize her voice. She does a lot of the voices of the Simpson characters in the TV series. Two of the characters even died. In fact, because they died, she did another character in the Simpson movie. She did the voice of Helen Lovejoy, the pastor's wife. Let's take a look. How you doing, Maggie? I'm doing good, really good. Oh, this, it, this. first of all, let me tell you, it's an honor to meet you. Oh, thank you. Because I've heard about you and I've read about you, but I had never met you. You do so many voices and have done it for years, but now you're doing one of the biggies, you know, know in the Simpson <laughs> movie. Isn't that just the wildest? I mean, especially coming from a TV series, actually coming from little vignettes on Tracy Ullman's exactly. show to a TV series now to the big screen. But uh, it's, yeah. it really is. It's been incredible. I know animated movies take a lot longer to make than normal movies. Absolutely. About how, do you know about how long? Well, the this was Simpsons a couple of years. Took? And they said, when I talked to Dan Castaneda and I said to him, so, you know, I said, how about this movie? And he was, and their eyes are like slits. They've been working so long. Jim would rewrite things that animate it, that do stuff. All the writers would get together and they'd do little pieces on the movie. Right. Then they'd have to redo it. Dan Castaneda said that he thought they were going to have a microphone at the premiere while he was going to add lines. But <laughs> see, but that's the problem is, is that in a regular film, you can go out, you can shoot second unit, go and do that. Exactly. That's great. But in this one, the problem was is that, you know, you have to go out and animate it. So that's animating here, sending it to Asia, where they do the in-betweeners and a lot of the other animation, then sending it back. They do a lot of that, so it, like the old-fashioned way. Right, And when right, we used right, to do the right. TV series, for the first years, it was eight hours a day that would be doing it, which is very different than most series. Anytime a TV series been on 19 years, yeah. how do you come up with those voices. I mean, how do you actually work those Simpsons voices? Well, see, the thing is, is that when I started on The Simpsons, they had already established some of the voices they had on the series. Right, When right. they were doing the little Tracy Ullman bits, which I wasn't on. So, for instance, Helen Lovejoy. You already had Reverend Lovejoy that Harry Shearer was playing, and he was very pompous. So when I was creating Helen Lovejoy, I figured, what was the type of woman that you would meet at the club? That you would say, well, hello, the kind that would just be lying through their teeth? <laughs> yes. Right. You look fabulous. <laughs> you know that really <laughs> gross laugh that you just want to shoot somebody. Yeah. So that's and that was always Helen Lovejoy with Maude Flanders. He had already had Ned Flanders. Right. So I had to come up with kind of. I figured he'd marry somebody from the Midwest, you know, and she was really simple. But I had to create my own character for that. And then when it was funny because when we were doing um, Millhouse's mom, you know, right. Millhouse is Bart's friend. Right. Then um, when we were doing Millhouse's mom, the Harry, or um, Hank Azaria already got the father's line before mine in the script. So he goes, uh, hey, Milhouse. And I went, oh, man, that's what I was going to use for the wife. And so then I, I did Luann Van Houten. So Luann Van Houten was the one that said, oh, I'm divorced. I'm with Pyro. It's great. <laughs> so, you know, so a lot of those characters, see, we do the show long before anybody, you know, we, right, we do it right. six months ahead. And some of them have died. Oh, yes, they have. I, oh, oh, it was very sad. Well, actually, they killed my character. They killed Mad Flanders. Well, I'll tell you who I play first. So I play Helen Lovejoy, Reverend Lovejoy's wife, the gospel yes. wife of the minister. That's who I play in the movie. Well, Marge Simpson, what are you doing with a man who's not your husband? I just thought I'd come over and say hello. She was all those cranky people that I'd ever meet. And then uh, I did Mad Flanders, who was the next door neighbor, the Christian a woman with a tad and rat, her two Christian children. They killed her because I moved to Colorado. Yes. And people say, well, how did they kill her because you moved to Colorado? Well, we, I had been flying myself back and forth, and then finally I quit the show, and then um, I came back onto the show. That was a whole thing into itself. But when I quit, they said, well, you know, we tried to find people that could, you know, do your voices, and your voices were really hard to match. I said, as if only I could do them. You would have wanted to pay me for, ah, no, never mind. So they, I ended up doing those. So I do Mont Flanders and I do Miss Hoover, who's Lisa's teacher, the one with Lyme disease, the one with, you know, who says, Ralph, why don't you sleep while the others are learning? And I do um, Dolph Mitchell, your Bart's friends, and the male personal liver delivers all their mail. And Mrs. Cashmere, whose real name is Shana Tifton, and the head of Kitty Carlisle, a match game 2010, all the old women, the old folks home with Grandpa, and Sherry Bubbins. And they also killed Sherry Bubbins. Yes. She got killed by an airplane <laughs> in the jet fuel. <laughs> Goodbye, Superman. So um, it was, you know, I've been killed. I've been killed twice. I'm, I'm double dead. <laughs> we'll be back after these words from my sponsors. <laughs> 